Good kitten internet. I've changed setup a little bit. Ooh, I'm cutting Isun off in a really weird space, aren't I? Anyway, hi. This is the eighth time that I've tried to record this video. Hopefully this time it actually comes out correct. Um, where we last left off, we just received Rudy again. Okay, just wanted to make sure... Wanted to make sure I actually had collected that item in the top left-hand corner. I couldn't remember because I've recorded this so many times. Anyway, we're going to be heading back at this point, back to Filgaia. It seems being very adorable. It's been a really rough week for me. So for reference, this is Monday, uh, October, October 14th. So not very long before this is actually going live. I've actually gone through my entire buffer at this point. Isun is looping around my monitor to make sure that he always has my attention. The, um, what else was I saying? Uh, yeah. So I've tried to record this particular video seven prior times and it's failed every time without fail. Words are hard. Um, this, again, this has been a really rough weekend for me. Um, Boo was in hospital at the emergency vet. Um, pretty sure she is either having seizures or, or had her first seizure, I should say, or alternately she, how to put it, Strained so hard in the litter box that she knocked herself unconscious. One of the two things happened. So, we're going to head back to Filgaia. Oh, now Isun decides to move over to the other spot instead. Maybe I should just point my webcam over there instead of here. Because this is just over to my left. And uh, you'll notice the green screen's not so great over there right now. Um, and, yeah, and speaking of, green screen behind me. It's actually set up. I just need to hang it from the ceiling so I can move it and back and forth because this is my gaming area. This is now officially the game room. Anyway, let's get back to Filgaia. Forgot. There's a tree that's been cut down there. There isn't one over here. Huh? Oh, we separate here. Okay. Uh, I was just like, I thought Mariel and I separated back there, but no, um, Mariel needs to separate because she's going to continue work on reforesting Filgaia. It's, she's the only being reforesting Filgaia. It's nuts. But not out of guilt this time, but out of love. Oh, she's in love with Rudy too. It's a land full of wonderful people. She is still one of my favorite characters of the series. Because she just wants to do what's right. And how often do you say that in this game? Anyway. But first, you're late! Where the hell were you? My lady was so worried. The, nah. There's something going on. We must get back to Adelaide Castle. Like, now. No, really, we're teleporting you back. See my sleeve in here. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. I love how Hanpan is also separate in the scene. As he should be. And I have an itchy nose again. Hmm. I think I am going to move this. Hold on a moment. Can I move it? Doink. Let it focus, and let me turn off the green screen effect on kitty cam. Doink. That doesn't look too bad. Let me chop off that. There we go. That'll work. And both Isun and Zone have been hanging out there, so... Boo's the only one that hangs out in um, the tree at the current position. So what's so incredible about this? Uh, uh, Professor Emma's invention's finished. You know how it goes. The flight machine's done. The strange looking attraction in her lab actually flies. A machine that can fly. Well, it said that a thousand years ago, there was a vehicle that could travel to the stars. How can you fly with current technology, though? 
I have no idea. Professor Emma's been researching flight mechanisms for a really long time. You know the Emma motor? It was invented for this machine. For a long time, she said she didn't have enough power to fly yet, but, you know, we're doing it anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of information for me to digest. I I didn't pay attention to the details. Speaking of digestion, um, she was looking at the Earth's stomach's golem while we were gone. And I don't know what else is supposed to be in reference to that, because that's where that conversation stops. What's in the Earth golem's stomach? I don't get it. Anyway, test flight time. So this is outside of, um, whatchamacallit, Adelaide Castle, which is apparently a desert-like environment, even though on the overworld map it doesn't look like a desert. I mean, it's Wild Arms, everything's kind of desert-like, but this is a little nuts. I don't get it. Ah, uh, Captain Pedo Pants is going to be the test pilot. He's scared of heights. Imagine a grown man whining and crying. Oh! I'm kind of sorry to hear that. I'm not into pedo pants. Oh, he's coming this way. Watch him fly. Yep. It's a good crashing machine, if I do say so myself. Also, um, I really don't understand why they say shiny instead of shit. Maybe they were trying to censor and just did a really bad job at it. I don't get it. Um... It's said a couple of times in the game, but it's always spelled that way. So, oh shit! The crazy captain! As they just walk away. You know, just ignore the captain. As Emma comes in, directing the cast. <laughs> wow, that was scary. But I have enough power to man maneuver the into the upper atmosphere. So yeah, um, basically the moment you hit a jet stream up above, the plane can't handle it. We need to start our modifications right away. Yeah, Rudy, it's good to see you up again. Anyway, um, we need to do other things. Uh, where's the captain? Well, there's always a price to pay for progress. We shall go and visit him later. I think this is intentional, where it makes it sound like he died. By the way, he didn't die. But first, I want you to meet someone. Uh, why did I receive an email? So, Anj from, or Anji, or however you say her name, from the very beginning of the game, back in, um... Kieran Abbey, there we go. Um, this is the last time you get to talk to her. I believe her. She's the one that makes it a technicality that, um, Wild Arms passes Bechdel, but not really. Hey, look, it's a guard stone. It's glowing again. Instability in the Guardian's energy. Guard stone's responding very erratically. Something's wrong. Some problems to the southeast, really far away. I've got nothing else, so I'm just gonna stake the stone and run. Something happening to the Guardians by any chance? Oh well, doesn't matter. I don't have any confirmation, but it's worth a look. We must use... I thought it wasn't completed yet. Only we had the Gemini circuits. We had the ancient Gemini circuits. We could increase the power of the Emma motor. We need a pair of them in order for him to work. First mention of the Gemini circuits all game. It's not in any books or anything like that. I think they just, at this point of the game, they kind of went, oh crap, uh, we need to do something to delay the plot. Uh, energy, yeah. Let's split up into two teams. Jane, your team will take to the sea with the captain. Go grab him from the hospital. Greeting the gang. Uh, you're going to use a new machine I created for him. I really don't like the idea of Jane being with Captain Pedopants, but, you know, McDullin's there. McDullin will slice somebody in two. Go with me, Rudy. I'll show you my secret lab. Also, Jane could probably just shoot his face off. McDullin's actually stronger of a fighter than Jane, if I remember correctly. Anyway, secret lab. Secret lab? Where? <laughs> no one knows. That's why it's called the Secret Laboratory. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. I love this sequence. I can't believe there's a secret lab under Adelaide Castle. Yep, she just dug out 
I'm just trying to figure out where, because we already know the sewers are under Adelaide Castle, or at least part of it. So this must be under the other half of the castle? I don't get it. Here you go again with another crazy idea. Isn't this illegal? Somebody stop this crazy professor. I wasn't sure what I was getting into, so I didn't bother getting a permit. Anyway, let's go. You gonna say Isin? Isin's been whining ever since Boo had her incident. And I know Boo's fine right now. Okay, light it up. Here it is! Surprise! The result of Geppetto's studies on the theory of flight. The metal bird and my Emma motor. I was able to create this flying machine by combining the two technologies. There's three right there. Anyway. At last, my dream is finally becoming a reality. I'm gonna name it the Gullwing, the wing of the holy bird. No, it's a prototype. How about the proto wing? All that steam over a prototype. Really? Thing can't even fly. We saw it crash in the desert. According to my wisdom, what goes up must come down. As long as you don't get caught in a high altitude jet stream, you'll be okay. Also, Isin's trying to grab food. I will pause this for a moment. And back. He was trying to eat my lunch. Or dinner. Dinner? Leper? Leper. Anyway, um, as long as you do get caught in a high altitude chest stream, you'll be okay. You don't exactly sound too convincing. In this world, you can only count on two things our love of Phil Guy and my technology! Oy. In order for me to complete the proto wing, I must have a pair of Gemini circuits. Gemini means twins. Thus, they will not work unless you bring the two circuits together. This makes no sense. Even for fantasy tropes, this makes no sense, but whatever. Jane's group will go by sea, and your group will go by air. Get back as soon as you find the Gemini circuit. Sorry. I was trying to grab something. What's your repair status to the gold, uh, proto wing? Stop wasting time! Hurry up! Repair is complete. It can take off at any time. Wait. Those people... Yeah, they're the same guys that were helping me with the Lolitha dig. I'm as being a slave driver as usual. Shut up and get the machine to gate 14. Why are there 14 gates under Adelaide Castle? This entire sequence is completely nonsensical. And I love this. Also because it establishes a continuity error. That's the best part of the scene, and you'll see it momentarily. So, oh, it gets sent out to the end of the rail, then lifted up using hydraulic power. I really don't understand what technology is lifting us, but whatever. Anyway, you'll notice that there is a glitch where there's like a little cliff area around that beach to the south of Adelaide Castle. That doesn't exist on the actual map. You can fade out, fade in, and it's gone. I wonder if that was supposed to be there in like an original draft or something? I don't know. You can't land in the forest or on the water. And it can't fly over mountains yet. Once we get the Gemini circuits in, we'll be able to. And some of the best, uh, the next best walkabout music, because what we're listening to is my favorite. This is my second favorite. Oh yeah, did I mention that there's no random encounters in the air? This goes really fast, too, especially when you can fly over mountains. Because you actually go faster the higher up you go. Anyway, um, I've done this several times, but I don't remember what things were in what video. So the first thing I'm going to do is land over here. This is Saint Centaur. Just checking to see, make sure that it, we're still sequence broken. I don't know. We're going to have to complete that again at some point, just because there is something secret in Saint Centaur that I need. Not to mention I'm missing the Guardian from Saint Centaur. So yeah, we now have the Proto Wing. We can go almost everywhere on the map at this point. There's a couple of areas that are enclosed in mountains, um, including one extremely large area. Um, 
Can I set RetroArch to have the mouse cursor again for a moment? Oh, it is set to do that. I just need to activate. There we go. Um, so up here, like this long diagonal area up through here, this is all encased through mountains. Uh, it's one gigantic area of empty space, but there's secrets there. We're almost at the point of the game where we just ignore the plot and just do secrets. Secrets. But not quite yet. Um, actually, what I would like to do first... Also, unfortunately, we got... No, we didn't get healed. Sweet. Rudy is still silenced. That's the way I want to keep it. Um, what I want to do now is to go to the battle arena. So we're going to go in, we're going to save here, and we're going to get as far as we can go, which we cannot defeat the last boss available to us right now. We're not strong enough. It will one-shot us with a single attack, and it goes first. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll clean your litter box when I'm done. Uh, yep, need to reload arm. Oh, right, I forgot to actually um, upgrade arms again. Uh, we probably don't need it in this case. So you'll notice that I have a bunch of extra slots, these three. Um, these are from my last attempt at playing, which means that they're no longer in continuity. But I used the slots for, um, whatchamacallit, the next uh, Let's Analyze video. So I am I already have them backed up, so I'm not too concerned. Um, we're going to go ahead and save here. Check our equipment, because we're going to need certain types of equipment. Okay, Ice Rune looks to be the best for strength for Rudy right now. Love Rune is definitely the correct one for Cecilia. Okay, and Life Rune seems to be good for Jack. Just making sure, especially on Rudy, just because we have some buffs that we didn't have before. Also, thanks to the Necronomicon, we have stupid amounts of sorcery. It's a technical term. And I'm actually going to equip the Crest Wand. Nope. I thought Crest Wand was the higher one. I guess Lunar Wand is. Okay. Hard Guard is the better one. And Rudy needs an increase in luck. There we go. All right. So. We're actually going to fight in the battle arena this time, and not just the first combat. Because we can take it now. And we're going to do this twice, because we need a bunch of things from the third battle of the battle arena. All right, first off. You're a boss. I think I'm just going to punch you. We're going to status lock. I know I keep calling it status lock, I'm sorry. And you're going to punch. Medea is really easy to fight, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, right, I should have equipped rings. That's what I was missing. Oh, well. all right, that's one. So Medea is a mage. Um, we've encountered Medea before, pretty sure. But at this point, we're not actually that injured anymore, or not taking that much damage anymore. So I'm not too concerned. Let's actually equip the rings. Holy ring for both of them. Oh, um, so I found out how Phaser Zap works. So I was wrong, and I'm going to do a Let's Analyze about this once I finish Jack's um, Fast Draws. But Phaser Zap actually uses the power of whatever element you have equipped. So it turns out that Phaser Zap would actually be really nice with the Holy Ring. And I did not realize this. Alright. Um, unfortunately, there's no such thing as High Protect, strangely enough. 
But we do have Hyper. Mm. Yeah, the higher level version to protect his lifeguard, and that's not as useful. Um, go ahead and protect Rudy. He's just bad at defending against magic. And arm lock on. Also, Bazooka is apparently fire element, as I found out. I did not realize this. Here's your zap. So this should do a lot of damage. That was actually less than I was expecting. Human experimentation! Does a lot of damage, but none of the status effects. Oh, right, I should have just, rather than using Protect, I should just cast, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, first off, Heal Blade yourself. It's only down to two? I thought it was down to one. Oh, well. Um, you should just be casting Holy. I forgot that sh Again, uh, I've gone through this so many times, I'm losing track as to what's going on. Holy does way more damage than anything else right now. Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> it's dealing nearly 9999. Also, fun fact, um, the damage limit is actually hard is actually coded in with a toggle. So you can adjust the damage limit up and down. Which is just what? Okay, bravo, bravo! Duke Baguchi is pleased with this fight. He anxiously waits your next match. You will fight again, won't you? Of course I will. Here are the challengers who would care less about life. Here they are now in the survival arena fight. Ready, go. All right, this one's bad news. Trick with bad news is that he hits for a crap ton of damage. That's it. That's all bad news does. Which means all I have to do is stack high shields constantly. Please don't hit Cecilia. You're hitting Cecilia. 33% chance and I blew it. It's gonna be one of those videos, isn't it? Okay, you're hitting Rudy this time. That's easier to deal with. As Rudy gets wrecked. Um, do I have Ambrosia? No, I have Mega Berries, but I don't have Ambrosia. Oh, weird audio glitches. Ah, uh, poopy. Oh well, it's not a big deal. We're going to be getting Ambrosia as a result of this. All right, all we need to do is get a high shield or two up, and we will be fine. Might as well arm lock on, because you're dead if you get hit anyway. Speaking of... Herc! Which means only two of them are getting the high shield, but at least it's the two that need it the most. Okay, now I should be able to take one hit. Five fruit, Rudy. High heal, Rudy. So this will hurt, but I'm alive. And Jack can accelerate and heal himself. So this high heal will bring Rudy all the way back up. Good. Accelerate. Wait, you actually have a good guardian for this, don't you? Oh well. Accelerate. Heal blade yourself. High shield again. We need three high shields off. And I know I'm kind of delaying this for those of you that have played through Wild Arms more. Unfortunately, Rudy's no longer silenced. That's sad. Okay. 
The heal blade will allow him to hit take a regular hit now. He may not take a brutal attack though. It's okay. Ah, uh, or not. That's right because Reedy didn't get high shielded. Welp. That's a second high shield on everybody but Rudy. I probably should just, you know what? You don't need the Holy Ring anyway. Um, goat dolling. This is actually the harder of the fights, by the way, which I find hilarious. Revive Rudy. High shield. Yep, Cecilia is now able to take that hit pretty easily. And there's the third high shield on Cecilia and Jack, and the first shield on Rudy. Okay. Summon Guardian. Hopefully he can get it off fast enough. Um... I need slowdown. And punch in the face. Brutal attack on Jack's not what I wanted to see. Dang it. Oh, slowdown will help. I need to unequip the Holy Ring because. Oh, that's right, it's already unequipped. Jack, how about you just get some defense? Wait, why did his luck drop to good? Really don't understand that, but okay. I think Raftina revives, so we'll High Guardian. And if not, revive Fruit Jack. Raftina! I don't remember if you've seen this one yet or not, but probably not. High Guardian Raftina is one of the best summons in the game. No, it does not heal. Okay. So it does damage and it's a full heal to your party. Brutal attack on Cecilia. Barely couldn't take it. Dang it. I ain't seen. Going through so many revive fruits, it's a good thing I'll be able to purchase them soon enough. Really? I guess I'm gonna go to all Cecilia next. Because this is ridiculous. Also, Isun, why do you keep looping around? And by the way, before somebody asks me, yes, I know I should be lucky carding, and I'm not intentionally. This isn't the battle I want to lucky card, it's the next one. Really, Isun? Come here, kitty cat. All I need him to do is to attack Rudy. He's attacking Cecilia. Cecilia is down again. Why did I forget to actually equip goat dolls on Cecilia? I even said I was going to. Uh, goat doll. You know what? Full revive. That'll bring Cecilia back all the way. Bad news was actually weak against an element like fire or something. Ha! I survived that one, sucker. Blade, Cecilia, Cecilia, Aura, Rudy Punch in the face. There. I believe that will fully heal everybody. Although I don't have the Necronomicon equipped, so yeah, Jack's not fully healed. Just summon your Guardian.
There was a trick to him. What was it? Go to Rook! Guardian of Life! It's time for the Power Unicorn. Aw, yeah, Power Unicorn. Which is healing. It's not full healing, it's just healing. Death down. Yeah, you counterattack, Cecilia. This should do a lot more damage now that his death's down. Yeah, that's better. Heal Blade Cecilia. Heal Cecilia. I'm relying a lot on Rudy. It's unfortunate, but it'll be fine. Ah, oh, my housemate's coming back. I'll hit pause at the end of this round of combat. So we don't get interrupted. Boom, 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 boom. Hitting Rudy. Missing Rudy. Alright, pausing for a moment while my housemate comes in. Alright. Everybody's up, everybody's at maximum hit points. How many hit points do you actually have left anyway? When in doubt, randomizer. I have the bullet clip for reference. Oh, I could probably use the thing now. Well, this will tell me how many hit points he has left. Ah, still has over 10,000. That's okay, take a nice needle to the face. Ice needle is tier three ice magic. Fine shot. High Guardian. And you know what? Let's just use a lucky card, just because. How many hit points do you have left? Ooh, you only have 3,400. You might not live through Raftina. Oh, well, not a big deal. I'm not too concerned about the lucky card on this one because we're fighting two more. Oh, yep, you did survive. Good. That wasn't a full heal for Rudy. That's weird. I could have swore it was. Alright, you're going to fang. You're going to randomize her just in case. So no. You're going to heal. That's aura up. And if you're still alive, twin orb. Meow. Fang might be enough. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright. 10,000 XP. 2,000 yellow. Unfortunately, I am injured. I'm gonna make a save state here. Not the least, because screwing up save states is part of what screwed me up before. Alright. Ready, go! So yeah, Java Walk has an interesting glitch. It's not really a glitch. He's weak against a spell that you normally don't have. I might not have it. I didn't think about that. No, wait, no, I used it before. Maybe. We'll find out if I have it. If I don't, whoops. Okay. Yep, there it is. Banish one of the few enemies in the game that can actually be banished. Alright. I think I'll survive the hit. Yeah. Banish! Blink. Banished. This is now a trivially easy fight. Which is hilarious. 
Who played Rudy? Um, let's just Aura to heal up. Rudy, rocket launch. So I believe speed's also dropped. Yeah, it is. So the two of those combined were probably unnecessary, but that's okay. I love how it's shrunk. It's like they just took an image and shrunk it. But it's so terrible on stats now that it basically doesn't matter. Because Banish also drops their maximum hit points. So it's down below 3,000. It has 36.95 hit points remaining. And it's taking 660 in a regular attack at this point. See how little damage it dealt? 179. I can deal with this. Honestly, I'm actually thinking about just attacking instead. Conserve things as much as I can. Oh wait, hold on. Let's actually remember to lucky card. Mm. Now you can mystic a uh, holy ring. And you can bullet clip. Because we have yet to see what bullet clip looks like in combat. It has a unique effect, if I'm remembering right. That might be wild arms too. does, but nothing else looks like that. This is so weak at this point. 20,000 XP? 30,000 Gela. We are no longer lay poor, by the way. Somebody stop these maniacs! All of you attack with such pleasure! Normal monsters are no match for you. You're unstoppable! No way you can stop now, right? I think this was the point that I was supposed to stop at, but I don't remember now, so I'm gonna save state and keep going. Who knows what's gonna happen in the arena and, and next in the survival arena? Survival Aaron? You can sit there, you can That's fine, kitty cat. Ready? Go! And you don't wanna sit there. Well, fine, Paya, we'll go back there. Okay, Riversider. Riversider is stupid fast and very strong. I'm trying to remember the shtick with Riversider. I have it written down in my notes because I've gone through this several times. Riversider. Um... Okay. Yep, this is the one I can't take. Oh well, I'll show you why I can't take it. So, first off, Riversider's weak against fire. I have got those two goat dolled right now. I can get off enough high shields, I can potentially scramble. <laughs> really about it. But notice, it goes first and does 1770 damage. I do zero to it. But, because it's weak to fire, that's actually a halfway decent hit. Okay, I actually did get a def off. off. Yeah, Rudy does zero. Rudy. 
Mr. Zap. You're alive. Go ahead and aura. Actually, Rudy, you need to have a fire ring to do. Oh, I'm out of fire rings. Cool. So yeah, phaser zap. Actually, you know what? Let's get you back your defense. This soon's crying again. Let's give you the flame ring. Wait, did I? Yeah, I gave it to the wrong person. Derp derp. Goat doll. Actually, you're gonna die anyway. Nah. Let's get our best chance at this. And then you're going to get the flame ring. Because you can divide shot, and that does 9999 damage right now. So I don't know why I'd be concerned about the flame ring. Aura up. Punch in the face. Meow. Divide shot should do 9999. It missed. Crap. Thought I had that in my note. Oh, that's right. I didn't get that far against this enemy. All right. That still dealt zero when he was weak against it. What is it, Isun? Wish you would tell me instead of just crying. Okay, re-equip reflex. You might as well just keep the flame ring on because you can actually do enough damage. There's no reason to accelerate this, just phaser zap. Um, you're on aura duty. Hit, I said duty. And you're going to lock on with twin orbs, because that's my... Oh, that's right, you're weak against fire. That's what it is, bazooka. And Cecilia's down, isn't she? Nope, she's at 77. Counterattack critical for 772. Phaser Zap, which is fire. You notice that the sparklies were red. That dealt 208. Really? Okay, this might not actually do enough damage. I might need to def down a few times first. That did enough damage. Okay, Heal Blade Cecilia. We need to death down you badly. Bazooka. That's fine. Jack can take the hit. Cecilia can't, and Cecilia needed healing. Armor down. I don't think I could take Riversider on. I'm doing much better than my last attempt at this. Accelerator, heal blade yourself. High Guardian. Lock on Bazooka. So I want to make sure Jack stays up. That's fine. Rudy can take the hit. That's barely half his hit points. And High Guardian Raftina will help. Stick magic carrot because I'm running low on MP. Rudy, just defend. You can't actually do damage right now. Yep, that's gonna kill somebody. Because it does crap tons. But Goat Doll took the blow. So the Goat Doll's destroyed now. I'm not too far off of being able to just buy Goat Dolls. So I'm not too concerned. Okay. 
Zap. Aura. Lock on Bazooka. Yep, I knew that was going to happen, which is why I re-equipped a goat doll. I should not be able to fight Riversider right now. Really need to cast Anger on a couple of people right about now. Alright, you're going to Sonic Vision. Really wish Cecilia was faster right now, but she's not. Um, actually, I'm going to Aura. Oh, wait, no. Re-equip Goat Doll. Always remember to re-equip the Goat Doll. Now, Sonic Vision. Aura. Lock on Bazooka. I could cast High Flame. It's not a terrible plan, but I'd rather have Cecilia keep everybody's hit points up. Because now I'm actually at max, so I may end up being able to do stuff again. Stoof. Okay. Jack. Just phaser zap. Cecilia. Rudy. Arm lock on Bazooka. That's fine. I can take the hit this time. I realize that Jack's gonna run out of MP before Rudy's gonna run out of bullets, so this makes more sense to me. And they're doing roughly equivalent damage now, I guess? Okay. Jack, I'm switching you to healing duty for a moment. Cecilia, I want you... Set up the bomb? I'm not actually sure how much that will do. One way to find out. One punch. That counterattack is nice. Bomb. Bazooka. Okay, you're going to accelerate Heal Blade yourself because he can't take a hit. Cecilia can, technically. Um. You know what? Let's try High Flame. Why not? And you're going to heal somebody. Ocean Berry Cecilia. Why not? Because Jack's going to heal himself up most of the way. You're attacking Jack again. That's fine. Cecilia's down a bit still, so I figured having her heal herself is not a bad idea. That only did 800 damage. Yep, that was not worth casting. You're going to accelerate or heal blade yourself again. You're going to hire Guardian Raftina. Rudy, you're going to Bazooka. Oh, so I should mention, because I don't remember, I don't think I've mentioned this before. Um, every Guardian has a Guardian ability and a High Guardian ability. High Guardian abilities can only be done by Cecilia. Regular Guardian abilities can be done by everybody. So when I do a Let's Analyze video on the Guardians, which I'm not too far off of being able to do now, um, I'll analyze that. Jack's still not fully healed. 
I keep forgetting High Guardian's Raftina is not actually a full heal. It just feels that way because I usually have the Necronomicon equipped. Okay. Um, everybody's basically healed up. Go ahead and phaser zap. Um, Cecilia? I don't even know what to cast. Does that jack up the bomb, I guess? It's fine. That's probably my last phaser zap. See, I'm not doing that much damage is the problem. And I'm depleting huge amounts of resources to make this battle work. Sonic Vision. Actually, let's just go ahead and Mystic Mega Berry. Yeah, Mystic Mega Berry. And lock on Bazooka. No, wait, 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 wait. I actually seem to be doing well, so I should lucky card. <laughs> now, Mystic. Or, um, lock on Bazooka. And there's the bomb! That did zero. I'm gonna unlearn bomb. Okay. 150 damage. Why is it so little? What happened? Did Def Down expire? I mean, it's possible. I don't think I've ever seen it expire, but I'll just recast, it's fine. Alright, you're going to switch to Twin Orbs for now. You'll Blade Up Rudy, this should mostly heal him. Yeah. Decent hit, at least. Pretty good hit, actually. Yeah. You have nine spell points remaining. Or magic points. Right, this is actually using MP. Max is 132, okay. You're going to Heal Blade yourself. You're going to Mystic Magic Carrot. And you're going to... Eh, I'm not going to Magic Carrot. I'm actually going to Bullet Clip my Bazooka, because that's actually an effective thing for me to do. What is it, Isin? That actually makes sense. So, um, Soul Guard is... Whatchamacallit, um... Yeah. Wait, no, it's just... It's... Dummy Doll is the one I need. Um, Soul Guard is Protect Against Instant Death. Dummy Doll is the one that's replicating a... Good Doll. Which I've equipped on everybody else, but... Actually, no. Let's just... Hyper Jack. 
Bazooka. Kick, kick. Dodge. Ooh, Dodge has been very lucky. Mm, I am doing more damage. Good. Let's do even more. Bazooka. Um. And down. I defeated Riversider. I didn't do that last time. Neat. Yeah, this is actually less money than the previous battle. Wow, what a winning streak. Even Duke Noguchi is speechless. Survival Arena, we will wait your challenge. Bring your friends and family to participate in this brutal event. You get a duplicator, three nectars, a full Libra. So, full Libras are really nice. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Nullifies all status effects. So the trick for the first stage of the battle arena is to have three of these equipped, because then Medea is nothing. Okay, let's go back and heal, then come back here. I know I'm at an hour. So I'm going to full heal, come back here, I'll full heal, come back here. Come back to the arena and then do a couple of battles up against the second to last one. Because that's actually the one I care about. Yes, I'll try the potion. Little green, that's fine. Uh... Small flower because apparently everybody's luck dropped for some reason. So I'm actually going to use up the secret sign because we're going to be gaining a whole bunch of them. There is nothing more plot wise that's going to be happening. Feel free to skip from here. And if you do, I'll see you next time, internet. If not, feel free to keep watching. Consider this the end point. Switch you to Holy Ring. Holy Ring. And. Oh, yeah, I should probably have the Wise Slate equipped now that I think about it. Or actually, no. I am going to equip the Orb of Power. This actually makes sense. Yep. Heal up with the Orb of Power. Now that I have more hit points, this should be a little bit easier for me. So now Cecilia is not in danger of just getting one shotted constantly. Although I did get really lucky with that fight with Riversider. Teleport to the Ancient Arena. And let's do this again and again. I'm planning on doing this twice. I may end up doing it three times. Oh yeah. Refill ammo. Save. And once more, I forgot to level up Rudy's stuff. I'll do that at the start of next video. Alright, consider this the official end. Bye! Now let's continue on fighting. So each of the stages give you a separate reward. And the last stage's reward is nice if one, you need duplicators, because it's actually one of the easier re repeatable ways of getting duplicators, but more importantly, too, just repositioning a bit, um, it's nice, you know what, divide shot you, uh, yeah, divide shot makes sense, um, clock state, punch in the face, um, what was I saying, so it's a nice reward, but you really don't need that reward too often, if you think about it. It's like full Libras, three of them max is enough for everything. Yep, it only has 5,000 hit points left. Down to 1,000. Oh, right, I forgot. It's actually weak. Uh, Medea is weak enough where I don't even need to cast anything. I for completely forgot. Heal Blade, Cecilia. Cecilia, just cast Holy, and we're done. I keep forgetting, but... This is actually an easier fight than I remember. Faint. 
dead. No, oh, not dead. Okay. Well, they'll be dead on my turn. Yep, now dead. That works. And you'll notice how little XP that I get for that fight. It's not worth... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, doubling that. Alright, bad news. What was the trick about bad news? I needed to read my notes and didn't. Bad news. Oh, yeah. It really is what I thought. Just physical attacks and does a lot of damage. That's it. Nothing special. Mm. No. Let's give you a force unit. Fruity. give you reflex that's not a terrible plan or just let you recover every turn yeah let's give you a talisman fight shot my shield I should be able to survive the hit now which should help quite a bit and punch in the face think Rudy could survive Brutal? Yes. Good. It's so much better now that I could actually shield everyone. If I shot out, that'll do 9999. Amazon order shipped, apparently. Alright. Heal Blade, Rudy. Actually, wait. Rudy! I'm going to switch you to Goat Doll because there's a good chance you might just get KO'd for no reason. Heal Blade, Rudy. High Shield. Rudy, lock on with Rocket Launcher. I'm going to Brutal Blow Cecilia. That could be... Okay, good. High Shield's helped already. I think that's actually enough hit points for Rudy to be able to take a hit. Bum, 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 bum. Right, Jack, you are going to Accelerator, no Blade, Cecilia. Cecilia, this is your last high shield. Rudy, lock on with Rocket Launcher. So that should be enough for Cecilia to take whatever hit comes to her. I think Rudy can take this? Nope. I was slightly off. Nice with that 666 healing right there. Unfortunately, I think that resets Rudy's um, positive status. So I think Rudy only has one shield up now instead of two. That's okay. Let's heal Blade Rudy to get him back up. Um, let's drop your speed. Rudy punch in the face. Oh, I forgot to re-equip. Do it, doll. Ah, uh, boy. This might be bad. Yep. Pretty sure Rudy's dead. Oh! He's at... Two. Two. Go with Heal Blade. Could do a regular Raftina. Instead, I'm gonna Aura. Rocket Launcher. Once I'm powerful enough to be able to take these hits more easily without having to do special prep, this shouldn't be as big of a deal. But luckily, it's now slow enough. What are you doing? 
Critical attack on Jack. That's annoying. Sonic Vision. Mm, if I unequip the Orb of Power, her hit points drop a lot. But if I equip it, I can equip a Necronomicon, which will over double her spell point or er, sorcery. <sighs> no, nope. I'm gonna keep the orb of power up for now. Why did I do that again? Okay, Sonic Vision. Hey Jack, let's switch you to a Goat Doll. Rudy, let's switch you to Reflex for the time being. You know what? Force unit. Why not? Sonic Vision. High Guardian. Punch in the face. Uh, come to think of it, I should have just divide shotted instead. Oh well. Celia is okay. Good. Yeah. Now is the time that I'm going to unequip the Orb of Power and switch to Necronomicon. Because now that Cecilia's hit points have been dropped back, it makes sense. At least to me. Uh, we're going to Divide Shot, check its current hit points. We're going to Aura, heal everybody up. Isun, get down. Isun. Off the table. Ah, <sighs> with the kitchen table behind me. Apparently, because the tables moved, the cats now believe they can stand on it. I'm just reteaching them. What did I want to do with Ruby? When in doubt, rocket launcher. I think he's just hungry right now. Yep, that was a much better heal. Your current hit points are 73, 72. Okay. You're at the tail end of your life. Bad news. So fun fact about bad news. Bad news is in Wild Arms 2 as well. Regular attack on Rudy. I can deal with that. I don't even need to heal it. I mean, I'm probably going to anyway, but I don't need to. Um, yeah, let's Magnum Fang. Hold on. And soon. What do you know me? I heard that noise. Meow. No. <sighs> He's trying to numb the straps on my green screen. Ridiculous cats. Um regular heal Rudy, I guess? I mean, there's not much reason to do much of anything else. No. Rock on, rocket launcher. Just about down. I think the rocket launcher will take out bad news. Bad news is always the harder one of these. I mean, Riverside is harder, but Riverside is the last one of the set. Right? Boogie time, apparently. Alright. Here we go. Also, I'm going to create another save state, just because. Ready, go. Ready, go. Okay. We know how to handle Java Walk. It's a divide shot. Banish. Punch in the face. Nice dodge there. And Cecilia's first this time. Alright, that's taken care of. Divide shot. So it actually has its maximum hit points, I think. 
Yep, you're down to 46, 47 already. Bang. Uh, does anything else even make sense for me to use? Just looking at my notes. Um... This is not a big deal. So, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and lucky card this. We're almost at the point of the game where we can get lucky cards easily, so. And lock on rocket launcher. That's probably gonna kill it, actually. Why is Cecilia faster than Jack now? Just love the short version of the Still looks like you're aiming for the head. No, nope, it's not dead yet. That's fine. It's doing so little damage to Cecilia, it really doesn't matter. Fang. Kinda lucky shot you. Eh, better not. Oh, I meant to check stats again. Oh, well. and you're dead. There's another twenty thousand XP and thirty thousand yellow. It's a good one to use this on. Ah, uh, yes, I will stop my own. Yep. No, no, unfortunate. Here are the prizes for this round: three secret signs. This is why I do it. Not to mention ten magic carrots and an ambrosia. It is the best reward out of these. At least until a little bit later on. Okay. Um, honestly. Yeah, that's good. Right, so I'm just going to check status on Cecilia. Res 128, res 130. So it's just better rolls. And why did Jack's thing go down? This doesn't make any sense. Why is luck going down randomly? Why am I getting unlucky with luck? All right, let's go ahead and save and do this one more time. It looks like each run's taking about 15 minutes. And it's going to be taking less time soon. All right, one more. if I can take out Medea on its first turn. Let's try it. Then I don't even need to lock state. I can just slam it and kill it really fast. Okay, phaser zap with holy. Yeah, saint. Punch in the face. Four thousand. Eh, uh, yes. Okay, that answers that question. <laughs> Oops. All right, stage two. And the problem with that strategy is that now, now I don't have enough hit points. Where I'm a little concerned about um, Cecilia. I forgot to even heal Cecilia all the way up. This might be a problem. Let's go doll you. Um, 
back. I don't actually have enough goat dolls for everybody at this point. You're gonna force unit. Pretty. Let's get you as much defense as possible. That'd be reflex. Get off an early divide shot. Hopefully, well, I'm going to be able to high shield no matter what. And Rudy. Punch in the face. Regular attack, I can survive. That's not a big deal. Getting the divide shot out makes sense. Oops, that's 10k damage. High shield. I should now be able to. Everybody but Cecilia should now be able to take the hit at full hit points. You're going to heal blade yourself. Cecilia, you're going to high shield again. Rudy, you're going to lock on with... Twin Arps. Let's go with Twin Arps. So Jack should be mostly healed. Ah, crap. That's instant death. Herc. I forgot that bad news can do instant death. Decent run. Pretty good run, actually. Yeah, it is. Alright. I revive Jack. So that should be after the attack. Brutal attack Rudy, that's fine, I can take that hit. Maybe not by much, but I can take the hit. Alright, Jack's back up at full. Jack, let's start with that. Cecilia, high shield. Rudy, lock on with twin arms. Rudy's doing more damage than you anyway right now. And Fatal Blow Rudy. God damn it. Herc. Full Revive Rudy. Why not? High Shield. Hopefully... I won't get Fatal Blowed three times in a row, because that's obnoxious. Uh, that wasn't in a row, was it? Never mind. Regular attack on Cecilia. She's alive, because she's the one that's taken each of the high shields. You're going to accelerate Heal Blade Cecilia. Cecilia, you're going to High Guardian. Rudy, you're going to punch in the face. Jack. You lived. That's important. Raftina will mostly heal you. Hmm. It was exactly a thousand. The sorcery is two, two, two. Uh, that's a multiplier. My brain's not braining that. 250 would be 4x. 222 two, two is not exactly 4x. That's weird. Anyway, um, no, you're not going to Sonic Vision. You're going to Divide Shot. No, you're going to heal yourself. You're going to High Shield again. You're going to Punch in the Face. should really just cast the anti-instant death spells.
I don't have a thing that nullifies instant death right now, do I? Nope. Cool. Well, I'm just equipping something. Because I want the Force Unit on Rudy right now. Face. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to even use the secret signs. Really? Okay. Hopefully it's Cecilia. Soul guard yourself. You're actually the one I'm not concerned about. Soul guard, Rudy. Rocket launch. And you're dead. Can't say same. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. So yeah, Soul Guard has the same visual effect as Bomb, just a different color. You dead yet? No. Boy, I'm so low on magic now. No blade, Cecilia. Cecilia. Armor down, bad news. Sure, attack Rudy. That's fine. He has hit points. I need to see. Very cute key. Jack, Accelerator, Heal Blade, Rudy. Actually, no, Rudy can take the hit. Jack, you need to divide shot. So keep not having that happen. Celia, you're going to slow down bad news. Rudy. Lock on rocket launcher. Yeah, we'll go rocket launcher this time. How many hit points do you have left? 44. 4.4k, that is. Counterattack, that will help. Uh, it's possible I might be able to take him out this turn. If not, I'll probably take him out next. Accelerate, Heal Blade, Rudy. Celia, Heal, Rudy. Rudy, Lock On, Rocket Launcher. Just so I'm prepping for the next fight. This one's taking quite a bit longer than 15 minutes as usual. You're dead. Get out of here. I forgot to look up what the reward for bad news is. Like if you stopped at bad news. Because I don't know why you would, because bad news is harder than... Yeah, it's one of each of the apples. So you'd stop there if you're trying to stat up, basically. Uh, how about you heal blade yourself, because you might be dead. Uh, let's try to get off the banish. 
By the way, Banish has a random chance of working. It's not guaranteed. And Rudy Punch in the face. But Jack should be faster than Riverwalk, so that's not a big deal. Antimatter Bomb is the nasty attack. Yeah. 1,500 each. You banished? Nope. Hang it. We'll blade Cecilia because Cecilia is more important than Jack. Oh yeah, I actually used a goat doll, didn't I? Equip the last goat doll. We'll blade Cecilia. Cecilia, you need to banish. Rudy. Oh, Rudy. Little blade, Cecilia. Back's down. Irk. I can get people back up once they're banished. So once they're banished, the damage is nothing. There we go. That's better. Norbs looks so weird for a shrunken enemy. Ah, uh, it might be dead already. Nope, okay, good. Um, Cecilia. You're going to revive Jack. Rudy, you're going to use a magic carrot on Cecilia. So I'm getting plenty of magic carrots now, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, Jack should be up with bare minimum hit points, but I think Jack can actually take a hit now. Yeah, Cecilia's only taking 200. Um, bang. Cecilia, just go ahead and use Lucky Card. Rudy. Oh, Rudy. Rocket Launch. Probably dead after the rocket launch? I'm not actually sure. Nope. Not quite. Probably very close. In fact, that counterattack might kill it. Nope. Bang. Hi, Guardian, because I can. Why not? Pretty sure it's going to be dead from Fang. Yeah. Slowly leveled up. Got another 30,000 Gela. I will stop these maniacs. Three more secret signs. Actually, I will keep the rest for next time. Just do this. Walk out, teleport back to... I'm going to go with Adelaide. Oh, right. I need to heal. And healing's free if I teleport elsewhere. So let's do that. Hopefully my head being down like this constantly is not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna fly. Milma's just over here. The mountains. Oops. There we go. Isolate a guild and heal up. Then go back to Adelaide, save, and we'll go from there. I will always try your potions. More flower. We're fine. Equipment. Let's get back to our regular equipment before I forget again. Oh, 
Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep Force Unit on him, because Hard Guard is just... It's for defense. It's mostly just the dodge chance. Yeah, I'll keep the Hard Guard fine. Okay. And then let's teleport back to Adelaide, like I tried to do before. Eh. Nah, we'll fly back. Abby. Uh, there we go. Adelaide. Adelaide. Not Hydelide, though. That's a very different game. Let's go ahead and save. I'll save in slot four. And we are, like, 13 minutes ahead. But that's okay. We did more. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!